Let me. <laughs> All right, you guys. Hey, aloha. <laughs> Sorry. This is Michelle Malin as a blossom in our wellness down together, Hawaii.com. I'm here with Michael T. We're laughing because we just did this whole whole video for you guys. And I realized I did not have the mic plugged in. So now it's plugged in. So now we're good to go. So Michael, he, he again was, um, well, not again, because you guys didn't see the first one, but <laughs> just a second. He was uh, one of the Freaking first amazing. guys at the Rainbow uh, Gathering. And he has been a freedom activist for 48 years, almost 50 years. He's got a message that is really important for all of us to hear. And one of those messages too is to laugh, is to have fun, is to enjoy each other. Because yes, this is serious, but I've said before numerous times, this is a game we came to play on this planet. And I really feel that this whole thing is a simulation and it's an emotional expansion for your spirit. And the emotional expansion part is, are you courageous enough to see the truth, take a stand for yourself and do what you know to be right, not what is easy. And I, I've always said that. So, but Michael has an amazing um, Hopi prophecy uh, that he wants to share and also his journey. So let's start there. Okay, the Hopis that I've been associated with since 1977 um, frequently say, I can't wait until the $100 bill is used for toilet paper, which means the collapse of the economic system and the collapse of our money-centric society. Then people will have no choice but to get back to the land, back to Mother Nature or, or not. And they say, don't put your faith and trust in supply chains and your food being ship 1500 miles away or thousands of miles and get to know mother nature by planting corn simple life uh in accordance and harmony with mother nature and with each other and you said something about water too uh, tell them about what the u.s government did to the hopi lands uh in regards to water so they separated the springs on the land from the people and they put fences around the uh, springs and the people had to then drive into town and get government county water instead of getting it from mother nature. And they dried up the water table, they dried up the, the people and then they just had to leave the land because there was no water anymore. And they used to live off of the plants in the wild and then they couldn't. And they called the people who stayed behind after they were ordered to leave resistors. And I used to hang out with the resistors, but they couldn't resist that long. And they've been gone for seven or eight years now uh, in these areas. And those are the areas that have the coal. And the coal gets sent off to New Mexico in a big pipe sluiced with the water that they get from the ground. So the water table went low and everything dried up. Even the springs dried up. Anyway, uh, there's differences in lifestyles and so on, but- Yeah, and I don't, I don't like this to, to be it. about fear. This is about awareness and it's about awakening to understand that you are, you are the one who's gonna save yourself, okay? I'm not gonna save you, Michael's not gonna save you. You're gonna save yourself. And how you do that is um, one, we're also gonna talk about the dollar and the economy right now. And again, like I've been saying on some of my videos, Trans World Medals Ltd.com, Trans World Medals Ltd.com has, uh, if you wanna move your retirement from the fiat dollar into precious metals. I personally, uh, this is not financial advice, but I would personally get my, my money out of the fiat dollar into property, gems and precious metals. I, I have silver and that's, that's where I go. Um, but Michael, let's talk a little bit about the economy and what do you wanna share about that? Okay, hey, we all, know that we live in a money-centric society. You can't get anything done. You can't feed yourself. You can't clothe yourself. You can't get your needs met without money. So when you control the money, you control the people. And the best way to avoid the chaos that's here now and spreading out is to avoid it. <clears throat> you aren't going to stop it. The Great Reset is in motion. Klaus Schwab, the World Economic Forum, Bill Gates and the Bilderbergers, they all uh, have a plan to put you into bondage. 
and if just read the book that Klaus Schwab wrote about the Great Reset and see if that's the world you want to live in. Uh, they're going to be coercing you. They're going to be uh, to get on board with the Great Reset. And one of the best ways to do that is to take away your money and give you new money. That's what's going on right now. And there's certain things that have to have the dominoes have to fall. So I just wanted to point out some of the dominoes that when you see them falling, you'll know it's time that the big change is happening. Are you going to be prepared for that change? Are you going to be able to avoid what they're going to do to you? That's the questions that I raise. Uh, so what we have is something that's in China right now that's praised by Klaus Schwab, who is the creator of the World Economic Forum, the author of The Great Reset. You might have uh, heard of The Great Reset. And the, the one-liner for The Great Reset is that you will own nothing and be happy. That means you're going to have a guaranteed income, which Yang brought up uh, in the 2020 election, a Democrat, and they'll give you a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars a month, and then they're going to start taking fees out of that. They'll tax that money. They'll leave you with 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 a, an amount of money that will be equivalent to your social quotient score. So in China, you have a social quotient score, and the social quotient is is based on a real ID. You've heard of the real ID that they've been trying to push for the last few years. And that will determine your, um, that will have your driver's license. It'll have your financial records. It'll have your health records. It'll have uh, what you've said on social media. If it's against the government or supporting Biden and, and, and the government um, or Biden, Trump, Obama, Bush, it's a whole lineage of, of things that have happened over the presidencies that all fall in line. They're like dominoes falling. Um, I just want to speak about Trump for a second. Sure. Okay, so when Trump came in to replace uh, Obama, Obama was Bush on steroids. Very little got changed, but mostly what Obama did was he enhanced and, and expanded what Bush had put in place. And Bush had put in place and expanded on what Clinton did and so on. Just for example, Clinton in 1977 had the Terrorist Act passed. Well, the Terrorist Act became the Homeland Security Act. So you can see how they dovetailed together. But they... it is an interesting Homeland Security. Homeland is like what was the one in, in Nazi Germany? It's the a homeland, the, home, the motherland. The motherland, yeah. Yes. So anyway, just wanted to throw that in there. Yeah. So it, what Trump did was take all these different the ministries, the departments of the of EPA, the education department, the labor department, the housing department, and he got rid of the heads of these departments and put in nincompoops who didn't know what they were doing. And what happened was the people that did keep those ministries in, in good, uh, good standing quit so the the the, the second in line uh the, the second tier of authorities of the fda they they quit uh epa they quit so he purged the system of all these good peoples and put in nincompoop so they really didn't work anymore the epa we don't have an epa anymore so he changed out uh our, the people who govern over us and here we are with um, Biden, who basically has it on his authority through the Emergency Powers Act. He can do the executive um, executive decrees mm -hmm. and be a dictator mm -hmm. if he wants to because of like, his prior laws. But just like the governors are doing, just like, like the emergency acts and all that. And then it tumbles on down through uh, the state and the county and, and everybody, and they have a plan for us. It's called Agenda 2030, and they want people living in little boxes, just just uh, get, getting a, a guaranteed income, 
and then you do what the government tells you. If you're an author, you're going to write propaganda. If you're a worker, you, you go work and you're going to all wear the same clothes. There's going to be no female thing going on. The, 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 the uh, enemy will be love and uh, courtship. And that was the story that George Orwell wrote in 1947 and gave to the world and say, this is a, a possibility. This could happen. And we're living in an Orwellian world. And, and uh, George Orwell was a member of the Fabian Society out of London. The Fabian Society is engineering our society and telling us what we're going to live like. So as far as money goes, yeah, and I just want to say this is not fear porn because I want to give you, there's a reason why each one of us is here. We're here on this journey to really expand emotionally and spiritually. And when you stand up to what you know is right, I mean, how many people have you seen that are not, don't, don't comply? It takes something. It takes something. Your, your spirit actually grows. And when you say yes to love and you trust in that higher power and you focus on your intuition and you let yourself be guided to what is yours to do, which all of us need to be going to our city council meetings. We need to see what these people are doing. We need to read their um, their planning department agenda. You must read that. Get a group of five or 10 of your friends and each one of you take that because we, we on Big Island have a our planning uh, department agenda is about 200 pages. And we there's a, about, I think there's about five people are going through it. And I want to get on that climate change one because that's also another whole topic. But this is not about fear. This is about... Why did we come here? This is a game. And we're here to stand up for ourselves and save ourselves. Nobody's going to save you. Nobody's, I know people, I used to believe in Trump, but then I looked and I was seeing uh, the things that he was supporting, the thingy, and the also uh, the thing that they put in the hospitals to help with that. So it starts with an R, REM, and then after that it's Desivir. He promoted those things. And that, that really got me to take a second look at him. And now I'm realizing he's not here to save us. We are here to save ourselves and how we do that is by building community, smaller communities and getting back to the land. So that's what's really, really important. So let's, uh, Michael, go for it. Well, to, to stay on a positive side and say that to avoid um, the, the chaos and the, all the stuff that's going on, war, things like that, um, we as human beings have to uh, hang on to our humanness, which mm -hmm. is our virtues. So we have virtues and we have vices. The vices take away from our life, take away from our soul. The virtues add to our soul. They add to our life. And fear and hate are vices. And love and grace are virtues, for example. So if we do things that enhance our humanness, that's the best thing we can do. And um, so when I see Palestinians dancing in the streets still, or at least trying to have their prayers, um, they're acting out of virtue, even in the fa when facing death. All right. So the 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 money is. I did I explain the CBDC? No, thing? no, no. So where where we're headed is towards the central bank digital currency, CBDC, central bank digital currencies we do have a net we do have a something for you guys to do though so he's going to share this and then we're going to give you guys an action because i'm all about actions she's very active <laughs> very, it's, it's hard to get, it's hard to get a handle on her because she's so active she's here it's she's there she's everywhere <laughs> and and okay so to, to get everybody to accept a card that has um all of your information on it is it, it, some things have to happen. Uh, the, the information that will be on this card is your driver's license, your financial I think you did go over statements. This. I went over that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what has to happen? Uh, they have to kill cash. And they've been doing that for quite some time now. And some dominoes are falling. Cash is being killed around the planet right now in uh, India, the 500 and 1,000 rupee bills are gone. In Nigeria, they, Nigeria, they took all their cash and shredded it. In um, in where Argentina. else? Argentina. Well, Argentina. Yeah, they just making it uh, 
hard to live there. They're, <laughs> they've learned how to live without cash, actually. So in a way, they're a model. There's some interesting things that have happened in Argentina since they were the first country to default on a international uh, IMF uh, international monetary fund uh, loans. They were the first country to default on those. Uh, can you cut it for a second? <laughs> we can pause. Yeah, hold on a second. You and in Europe, they limit the amount of purchases in cash. It started off in October at three thousand. They're going down to a thousand now, and they want to lower it to three hundred dollars. 300 euros. You can't buy anything that costs more than 300 euros in in cash. You have to have the card. So they're rolling out the card in all these countries. China is the model. Uh, Europe is following. India is following. Uh, the United States is following. So how are they killing cash? Uh, the, the most obvious way is through creating inflation. The inflationary trends that we have now are planned. They've been engineered. They're created, uh, starting with the trigger of the pandemic, the lockdown, the destruction of the middle class, the destruction of the small businesses has really uh, changed our, 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 our society, has gone into a feudal system. You have the rich, and then you have the serfs, living out in the woods okay i like living out in the woods he, he does but again don't freak out because we are going to give you guys something really positive toward the end so just hold on okay um yeah we're proving that it's possible to live in the woods and grow your own food we need a seamstress though we need, <laughs> we need some some better clothing um and and so they, they they've created this inflationary trend by putting all this money out to the people. And then that's messed up the uh, supply chains. It's messed up the labor force. It's just made a mess of the economy, actually. And and so your supply chains are in trouble right now. And uh, your source of electricity, your source of phones, your source of mail, your source of gasoline, clothing, shelter, all these supply chains are fragile yeah. and we have to we have to this is what the Hopi say you got to get control of the distribution of your needs so recognize what your needs are and uh one, one big thing that's happening in the country at this moment is there's big cyber attacks on our infrastructure for example all the electricity in texas um uh, stock markets um power plants. These things are being attacked as, as we speak right now. It's been in the news. Um, so are you ready to live without electricity for a week, for a month, forever? Just be prepared. Uh, and in, uh, so it, the, the, the society that we've contributed to, that we live in, has to keep growing to exist. It, if it starts to shrink, we have a depression and then the capitalist system goes away. We're all trained to think that we have to get into business and we have to grow the business and keep growing it, make it bigger and bigger. Well, when the Europeans came here to Hawaii, their number one problem was getting the natives to work. The natives saw a machete and it only took two days of work to get the machete and then they would quit. They saw no need to have to keep working for the Howleys. And uh, and to this day, they've got a problem getting the Hawaiians to go along with their, their money schemes, their money dependencies. So don't be dependent on money only yeah. way to get your needs met. Money should be a luxury. It shouldn't be a necessity. Your, your community helps you meet your needs. Mm -hmm. And together, our Ohana, our family, we're happy. We're fine. We're not in the rat race anymore. We're not in the matrix. Um, I just want to say, I want to say something about, I want to say something about that because Hilo docks, some of the supplies uh, ships are not going to come to Hilo anymore on, on big Island. 
Um, and that's going to mean they're going to go to the other side on Kona and they're going to have to, they have to truck everything over. Things are going to also get, go, go, go up. We, we have been, you know, I, you guys know, I live on a farm and growing food. It's like, if you can't grow food, meet your, meet your farmers, you know, getting back to community. It's like, we are on these, these single family homes and you don't even know your neighbors, but it's really important. And it's also important to downsize my, I had somebody uh, wrote, write to me, email me, Hey, I can take your business up to, you know, 10, 10 to 15,000 a month, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to be there anymore. I used to, at one point I used to, you know, make six figures. Now it's like <laughs> we're close to that. And I'm so much happier and I have some extra free time and I'm able to work on the farm. And that's where we need to go back to. It's like downsizing and, and, and so I, I do want to say one more thing after he's done, but, um, but Michael, what else do you want to share? I just want to say another way to create inflation is to go to war. Oh. We had a, a lot of inflation during the Vietnam War, and we're fighting two major wars right now. And spending money on war is the worst way to spend money for anybody, for a government. It only cycles through the economic system three times. Normally, through a normal business, it's up to 50 times the money gets circulated around. They're trying to kill that concept and get us into a, a very narrow minded war concept and where the world is right now is an interesting place it's because israel is trying to start a war a bigger war trying to the u.s wants to start world war three and the arab world is not taking the bait thank god the problem is is that 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 means israel can get more and more horrific in their acts and trying to start a larger war and we see the people that are paying the price are the israeli people and the palestinian people the normal people who would ordinarily just be living in peace uh, need the opportunity to live in peace now they're uh, under attack i mean tel aviv is under attack rafa is under attack uh, and and uh but iran is not biting saudi arabia is not biting they're just it's a verbal war at this point. Russia's not involved because it's mutual destruction if you do, and then then it, it's anything goes. And that's and these anything goes scenarios is when you're going to have your money change onto a card. It's when um, our whole value system around money is going to change. It's when the Great Reset is coming. And one last thing. So the money I talked about is being taken out of. So an, another sign that the Great Reset is coming is through censorship and surveillance. We have thousands of cameras in our face all the time with our facial ID. They can tell uh, uh, if you walk in front of one of these cameras in all the major cities, major airports, uh, even in front of grocery stores in the United States, you have to get a facial recognition approval to go into the store the door won't open if you they think you're a criminal if they think you're uh, got a low social quotient we talked about the social quotient yeah okay and and that's uh, not in the u.s yet i mean that's not here on hawaii it's not in hawaii not yet but it's it's in uh, i think philadelphia has one of those uh, cameras that you have to look up to you have to stand where the two feet are and then look up and either the door is going to open or not. Then, so the social quotient card says you're going to live in a neighborhood. Everything you need is within a 15 minute walk. If you go outside the neighborhood, your card won't work. You have to stay within your neighborhood to even use the card. But if you um, have some bad opinions about the government, if you didn't get your vaccination Don't updated shut, don't say the uh, no, The jab, if you didn't get the jab, they could keep you from using your card. It's that pretty easy uh, to figure out. So the, the, the censorship is obvious. It People that are speaking the truth um, are getting shut down all over the world. And when you have war, anything goes. And the first casualty of war is the truth. And that's what we're seeing now in any anywhere you look, the truth is not being told. 
and it's uh, misinformation when we know the propaganda put out by the official story, that's the conspiracy theories. That's the lies and, and the misinformation. And so China has broadened its uh, clamp down on industry and now it's, and, and they've um, decided for the last two years and other, uh, I think nine other countries have banned cryptocurrencies. So you can't really go to cryptocurrencies. They're illegal in in a lot of parts of the world. And that's another sign. When you see cryptocurrencies getting banned in the United States, hmm, when you see people uh, saying, oh, we're going to recall cash, hmm, it's another thing. 1934, the U.S. government uh, uh, banned gold. Yeah everyone had to turn in their gold in 1934. So they'll do whatever they have to do to give the image that they're stabilizing the economy. Mm -hmm. And you just watch out. The best, the best currency for me is food. 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 So food. the thing is too, is take a look at your needs and see what is it that you, what, what is it that you could grow that, that would really be sustainable? So what are a few things, uh, farmer, uh, Michael's been a farmer for a bajillion years as well. What are some things that people could grow that would help their, uh, help sustain them? So my age is a bajillion plus three. That's my age. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> okay. Uh, some of the things you want to grow is in, look in your area, your climate, your zone, you can grow something anywhere in the world. And the further North you go, the more, focus you will be on your food because you have to get your food harvested and processed and put in the root cellar before winter and uh okay and i do want to say this if you're freaking out and going oh my god i can't do this i don't know how you don't have to know how you have to ask the universe and whatever your higher power is you just have to this is what i do when i when i get when i when i get into a spot where i get a lot of fear and i'm not sure how things are going to work out i say okay universe i know you always take care of me i'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to work out i'm looking forward to see who's going to come into my life what experiences i get to experience in order for this to show up in my life so if all you do is say okay universe I don't know how to make sure that me and my family are secure with food and with water. So I'm looking forward to seeing how you're going to set this up for me. Like if you just write that down, universe, I'm looking forward to seeing how you're going to set this up for me so we are safe and we uh, have the um, income or um, sorry, um, abundance that we need to barter or to trade because we don't always need money. We didn't have money. You know, throughout Kevin history, said money. never. Uh, when we didn't have money and we had total peace, we call those the dark ages. But that's that's the Hopi message. That's where we're headed back to. We have to get, get we can't have money rule over us. We can't have uh, uh, war rule over us. We can't have fear. We can't have um, hatred. This is ridiculous, the things that are being said now. I, I can't believe that. Uh, so, um, and some other things to watch for is that the the banks are closing down and they're shutting down. So when when the banks say, "Oh, we're not going to do credit cards anymore or debit cards anymore," uh, you have to get those direct from Visa, even if they want to do that. So that system's being challenged as we speak. Um, and the system of uh, cash is is being challenged. Uh, I've heard that Bank of America doesn't accept cash anymore. Uh, the largest bank in Colorado doesn't accept cash anymore. Uh, your bank won't be dealing with cash. They'll have reverse ATMs. If you want to go to a sporting event or a music concert, you have to have the card, a charged card. So you put money in the ATM and it'll spit out this card you put twenty dollars in a card twenty dollars you get into the concert whatever concerts are like what two million dollars now yeah about that yeah two and a half that, that. and and so th these are some signs that we're getting closer to having 
a bail in, not a bailout. You know what a bailout is? That's what we had in 2007 uh, when we had $700 billion bail out the banking industry. And you know, that wasn't $700 billion total. It was no more than $700 billion a day. Okay, that was a huge bailout, uh, kind of off the books bailout, but it cost us dearly. And 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 we have um, bail-in is when the bank just takes your money because they have to remain solvent, so they say. So the, the banks will be charging more and more fees. They'll take more and more people are going, I have more and more stories where people say, they took my money. There's no, uh, I have no account anymore. And so watch for that. Uh, get to know your bank. I would say get smaller instead of bigger. Get out of the big banks. Get into a credit union or a small local bank, a regional bank uh, would be better, much better. Uh, what happened with Silicon Valley Bank, that was a test. That and State Street and uh, the other banks that went under last spring was um, the beginning of the fall of our banking system. So uh, another thing to watch out for is the um, banks closing. Sometimes they'll close for two or three days. Uh, I've heard two up to two to three weeks. They say, oh, we're switching software. Uh, we have a new software system. Well, the new software system is the new CBDC system. And in July 1st, our country adopted the Fed now exchange system. That's where all the currencies and all the debits and credits get balanced out every night at midnight. But now it's in the, under control of the central bank. The central bank can control your money so much easier than be, we're all part of that new system and we don't really even understand what the ramifications of it is. So, um, so you'll be getting a uh, these cards, the CBDC cards are being issued as we speak. But you can do different currency with each other, yeah. with your neighbors, Yay. with your local um, uh, shops, with your local locally owned. <clears throat> you can you can barter, you can trade, you can do uh, gold backs like uh, uh, Trans World Metals. Again, uh, Trans World Metals LTD has gold backs. Excuse me, <laughs> that literally looks like a dollar bill, but as it has gold in the foil. And it's just, it's like, yeah. So you can trade with that. And there are businesses that allow that. Gold-backed currency. So I predict that in the not too far future is that cash will be the alternative currency we've all been trying to develop. And we'll be still be trading in cash as we are now in our local endeavors, our local exchanges. Whenever we want to get something off the internet or have Amazon deliver it, that's all plastic that's one step away from a card that's controlled by the uh, central bank. And so we have, um, should I tell them what we're doing here? And what I got another shipment today. Um, if you want to, yeah. So I've decided, well, if they're gonna make cash illegal like they're making cash illegal in these other countries, um, let's trade in pesos. <laughs> So I have pesos, peso coins. It's not, it, 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 yeah. So they don't want us trading. They don't want us uh, doing anything on our own. They want us totally dependent on them for our money and our sustenance. Do everything you can to avoid that. Yep. Um, by, yeah. by creating community. Community. So again, um, let's, we're going to do a prayer. And uh, the biggest thing to take away from this is that you are guided. There's something greater than all than, than you, than me, than all of this that is guiding each one of us. It's called, it's in our intuition. It's, 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 it's connected from our heart to infinite source of all things, but you have to ask for help. You have to ask and you have to trust it. You have a very short affirmation. Okay, cool. Very short affirmation. I make correct decisions quickly and divinely. Yes. Then you'll know what to do. Then you'll know what to do. So the thing, so let's just go ahead and just drop in with, uh, with spirit, with source, with infinite creator, the infinite source of all things that is beating our hearts and is breathing our bodies right now and has heard this, these message and feels the frequency 
of of uncertainty in so many people and, and and the frequency of fear and these frequencies there's nothing good there's nothing bad there's nothing wrong or right about these emotional frequencies they are just part of our human experience our human journey they are what one of the things we came to experience on this plane on this planet in these human bodies and we now know we call forth the infinite knowledge that we are all taken care of that we know we are out of the system in a way that is so easy and in a way that feels right and feels strong in our bodies and gives us inner strength that each one of us is guided to what it is we need to be doing and is guided on how to take care of our own uh, ohana our own families we know that the universe is bringing to us and inspiring us to take action that will allow us to be well fed, to be well clothed, to feel good in our uh, communities together and bringing back local ohana, local families where people live in communities, where people are growing their own food, where people actually have more time off and are enjoying their, their each other's company, where people laugh together again and hug each other and love each other and have that frequency of joy in their hearts. We know that that is coming right now. And we are really looking forward to seeing what events, what circumstances, what people come into our lives that allow this to show up easily in all of the communities and lives of every single person hearing this message. We know it is done and we know that we can and are making it through this time. And so it is. So Michael, thank you so much for joining me. And um, happy to join you and thank you for doing this. And wh where is this gonna go? Uh, this is going on YouTube, on my Rumble, on Bitch, uh, Bitch actually uh, Brighteon, and on this one um, uh, stream live t.tv. So wow, did you get all that going on a lot of places? I, I know her, so I'm gonna have her write it down and give it to me. <laughs> sure. Can they back this up and watch part of it again? Yes, yep, you'll be able to back it up and and fast forward any parts that you're like, skip that, skip that. Okay, that part. Uh, get the Hopi prophecy in there, get the Hopi prophecy. All right, and, you guys, and let us know if you want to come over for dinner. All right, well, I always play the Charlie Brown jazz Christmas jazz um, yeah. album, it's my favorite. All right, aloha, everyone.